happy springtime, everybody. Hope you're out uh, getting a chance to enjoy a spring training game or all the, you know, one of the other great events that the Valley has to offer this time of year. We also really wanted to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your referrals, your continued referrals. Eric just got one from a, a past client today, and we just cannot thank you enough for your support. Um, Eric's going to lead into kind of some of the stuff that we're discussing today, the, the current state of the market and all the good stuff that we have to, to share with you today. Perfect. Well, overall, uh, we've been seeing a steady increase in the market in, sell in favor of sellers since December of 2022. Most people are wondering, how is this even possible with interest rates where they are today? And while the, invent uh, while the uh, demand has increased definitely over the last couple of months, it's not the major factor that's changing the market. What is changing the market is the lack of supply. So we're actually have an inventory problem again like we did back in 2021. So what we're seeing is sellers are staying put in their house because they have a two or three percent interest rate or in cases where they do have to sell they're keeping the house turning it into a rental and then using the positive cash flow to offset their new mortgage at the higher interest rate. It's really interesting stuff. Um, just to give you a broad overview of the market and kind of how the different cities with, uh, within the valley are, are uh, are performing right now. We currently have only three cities that are statistically in a buyer's market. Those are Queen Creek, Queen Creek Maricopa, and Buckeye. Uh, two that are currently in a balanced market, not favoring buyers or sellers. And those are Surprise and Goodyear. And 12 cities that are currently in a seller's market. So the majority of the cities are in a seller's market for sure. Uh, Chandler actually leads the way right now in the top spot with 190 on the Cromford Market Index, which is indicating a really strong seller's market in Chandler. Uh, one interesting note is that in Paradise Valley right now, the the CMI is dropping pretty pretty rapidly, and that's due to increased inventory coming on the market. Uh, PV is at 127 CMI, which is just barely leaning towards a seller's market. Phoenix is currently in fourth place out of the 17 cities, and um, that's at a, we're at 159 CMI, so definitely a strong seller's market. And the CMI in Phoenix has actually increased 21% just in the last month. So things are definitely continuing to, to trend in that positive direction for sellers. And with, what, what, with regards to what we're seeing here in North Central, uh, it's really truly a mix. We're seeing some properties on the market, 30, 60, 90 plus days. And then we're seeing other homes that hit the market and they're getting multiple offers and selling within a matter of a day or two. Um, so it's, it's really a byproduct of if the house is overpriced or if it's a move-in ready condition. So today's buyers are really leaning more towards something that is completely move-in ready where they don't have to take on a project. Um, they're already, you know, having to deal with a larger, higher interest rate, which is causing their payment to go up. So they don't have that extra disposable income to necessarily make the, um, the improvements that they would want to do. So um, there are certain homes that are still really high in demand here in North Central. If you take a single level uh, patio or townhome that's been nicely remodeled, priced at a million or under, and it's gonna sell really, really quickly. And then one of the really unique things that Steve and I have been talking a lot about is the number of homes over the $2 million price point that are happening here in North Central. So in the last six months, we've already had three that have closed over 2 million, and we have another five that are currently pending. So it's, uh, it's definitely growing here in North Central. Looking ahead, I thought I would just quote Michael Orr um, or use a quote from him. Uh, he conveys this information really, really well, and it, it gives us a sneak peek. Uh, it summarizes the market well and gives us a sneak peek into what we can look forward to uh, coming in the next several months. So quote, there's almost no data that supports the theory that prices are going to collapse from this point. For this to happen, we would need to have a wave of new supply creating problems for sellers. While this is always a remote possibility, there's very, there's very little foreclosure activity and low levels of mortgage delinquency. So, where's this flood of homes for sale supposed to come from? The builders have cut back drastically on new home permits, so we are more likely to see a shortage of homes for sale rather than a glut. And rising mortgage interest rates discourage homeowners with mortgages from selling because that would mean the loss of their cheap loan and the acquisition of a much more expensive one. 
And then another quote from him that we thought was very interesting. He said, the opportunity to buy at the bottom of the correction occurred in the fourth quarter of 2022. Congratulations if you bought when everyone else was fearful. That was good market timing. So clearly he's saying that, uh, you know, if a, buy, if a buyer's sitting there waiting for the bottom of the market, uh, you missed it. It, it, it already happened. So don't just keep waiting. Uh, you got to jump in at some point here. Um, so one thing is for sure moving forward, the data continues to indicate low levels in inventory. And if that trend continues, the upward pressure on pricing will definitely persist. Thank you for taking the time to uh, sit, watch our video. Uh, we really try our best to give you information that's both pertinent and informative. Uh, if there's ever a topic that you want us to cover, please reach out to us via email at collaborate at the or feel free to give us a call at 602-903-7220. Thanks again. Thank you.